Welcome to our MyWorks lesson on the solar system. This is a fun way to introduce the concept of planets in our solar system to your children. Your youngest will enjoy the physical nature of this lesson, and then as they get older, or even your older children, they're going to enjoy the extensions that we offer you because it helps them to really increase and expand on this initial presentation. What you will need for this lesson are planets. These planets I made myself, and if I can make them, you can make them. This planet, for instance, or for the sun, I took a styrofoam ball and glue wash or a paper mache wash and newspaper, and I just layered the newspaper and paper mache over this foam core ball. For this planet and for a couple of the other smaller planets, I just took air drying clay, and once the clay dried, I painted the planet to match the description of the planet. So you can have fun with this. Make this something that you can do with your kids. If you don't want to try making them on your own, you can buy a package of plastic planets that would do just fine. Here's how you'll present the lesson to your child. This represents the sun. The sun is what gives us warmth. It's what gives us daylight. It's a star. It's a big ball of fire. This will be the sun. This, this is the planet that we live on. The earth has land, it has air that we breathe, and it has water. Earth is three planets away from the sun. It's part of our solar system, which means it goes around the sun. The Earth. Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun. Will you take Mercury and walk around the sun? You'll give the planet to your child and have them walk very closely around the sun because Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Mercury. Venus. Venus is two planets away from the sun. Venus looks like a really, really bright star on a clear night when you look up from Earth. Venus. And then hand it to another child or hand it to your same child that you're presenting this lesson to and have them walk around the sun but just a little bit farther away because there are two planets from the sun. The sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars. Mars is four planets from our sun. Then your child will physically get up and walk it all the way around the sun. Jupiter. This is the biggest planet in our whole solar system. It is five planets away from the sun. Jupiter goes around the sun and your child will take it and walk a little farther away. Jupiter is five planets from the sun. Saturn. Saturn is known for the rings it has around it. Saturn is a very, very light planet, even though it's very, very, very big. If we had a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. Saturn is six planets away from the sun. And now your child might be walking around chairs just to get around the sun because they're even farther away. Uranus. Uranus is seven planets away from the sun. It's very, very cold. Why do you think it's so cold? They'll probably tell you because it's so far away from the sun. Uranus. Hand it to your child and now they have to walk way around the sun. 
Uranus is seven planets away from the Sun. Neptune. Neptune is the last planet in our solar system. And now your child might be walking all the way around the entire room. Neptune. And that's the initial presentation on the solar system. You can do this lesson with many, many children. You don't have to do it with just one. It's fun because they all want to take turns being a planet. We started with the planet Earth because that's the planet that we identify with because it's the planet we live on. So I started to make the connection initially between the Sun and the planet Earth and then filled in the blanks. This lesson also can be added to with the use of naming cards. So as your children have become used to laying the planets out in order and they're having fun with it, you can introduce fun facts. Venus, it's the brightest planet in our sky. Earth, there is more water than land on Earth. And then you can read the fact to your child and say, can you find the planet Earth? And that way it'll further build upon their knowledge of where the planets are in the solar system. Another fun extension to this work and to promote some more curiosity about all of the different planets are finding solar system cards. These are cards that Miss Lisa found and these have pictures of all the different galaxies in outer space, pictures of the space shuttle, and what we've done is we've written the fact on the back. Of, this was just from a calendar. We cut the pictures out, posted them on a little bit more of a sturdy paper, and glued the fact to the back of the picture. So as your children learn to read, and or if they're not reading, they just want to look at the pictures, describe them to them first, and they will remember. Be creative with this lesson, have a lot of fun, and remember, let your kids just get in there and get curious and help them find new ways to enjoy these lessons.